Right! That's not about me. I don't feel like shit today. I actually feel great. That, that is to do with little germ monsters everywhere. They've all gone back to school, haven't they? You, little, those, you know, those little people who um, carry germs <laughs> and bring them home to you. Aren't they? And they share them with you. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? It's that time of year. It's that time of year. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? What am I going on about? So, I put a video about this into the um, September Swing Challenge. Actually. Jason's on. Hello, Jason. I put a, a, a video about this in the September Swing Challenge. Ant's on as well. And Paul, blimey, hello. God, I'm doing all right today, aren't I? Now, yes, I put a video into the uh, September Swing Challenge and it was basically as soon as I'd finished a session this morning with um, Claire and Dave. Hello, mate. I hope you're feeling a bit better. Yes, uh, those little germ monsters. Ant's got some slightly older germ monsters and uh, one of them is giving, he's on garden leave and one of them is giving him bloody, giving them that, haven't they? Haven't they, Ant? Who are you? Paul, how are you doing? Paul, I've just been writing the um, BKSIC for this month and I'm quite proud of it actually. It's really good. I had a problem. It says it in the, in the blurb at the start. I had a problem um, trying to work out what to put in this month. Not because I'm running out of stuff. It's because I've got too much stuff to put in there. I'm like, right, how do I condense it down? Because I don't want to give you everything in one go. Because you'd be like, uh, what? So it's it's it's... It's bloody good. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I just need to record all the videos for it tomorrow. And then it'll come to you on Sunday at 12 o'clock. So anyway. Anyway. Yeah, you've been watching Loose Women, Ant. <laughs> Bit of Jeremy Kyle and all that. What's on? I don't even know what's on on daytime. You'd think, because I'm at home all the time, I'd know what's on daytime telly, but I don't because I don't watch it. Anyway. Anyway, we digress. We digress. Digest. All that. So. Yeah, I was in the park with Claire and Dave this morning and we did a load of technique work with Dave and I've given him homework for the weekend which will be great and yep yeah, Paul good and and Claire turned up today and she was going to text she said she was going to text me this morning and say look is it alright if I come tomorrow because she had she had a rubbish night's cake you know she wasn't feeling great she, she's got a bit of a cold but she turned up anyway Okay, now at the end of the session, fast forward to the end of the session, she was, you know, as we were going to leave, she was like, I feel like I've done nothing. She was leaving like, I feel, I feel like I've done nothing. So I just said, right, let's just go over what you've just done, right? We did some cleans and presses with a 12 kilo, which she did 36 each arm, plus some rows each arm, plus she did 50 swings at the end with a 32 kilo bell in sets of 10. She went, she did 10, then Dave did 10, then she did 10 with a 32 kilo bell. Hello Rick, Rick's on as well. Hey, God, we're all on today. But she did 50 swings at the end with a 30, 32 kilo bell, put it down and then she was like, as she was leaving, she was like, I feel like I've done nothing. So I said to her, hang on, and this is one of the things I went about on my webinar on Tuesday, and she was on that actually, because she was, yeah, she, she thought, oh, I'll have a look and see see what Peter's talking about on this webinar as well. So she was on that. And one of the um, one of the slides was about if you have a goal and you're focusing on that goal, but like you're miles away, you're over here and the goal is over there. If you're focusing on that, you get all these future-based thoughts about how how you've got to reach here when it's it's way it's way away at the moment. So your future based thoughts are going to be fear and anxiety and everything about how you're going to get there. Rather than, this is what the slide said and this is what I said to Claire today. And she, like I say, she was on the webinar, but if you say this to someone once, they forget it. You've got to keep it, saying it over and over again. Not drilling it into people, but just trying to, trying to get a different mindset. And it was like, look back. Instead of looking forward, this is probably op opposite on here, so I might be going the wrong way. But look back at what you have done. So Claire had done 36 presses each side with a 12 kilo. She'd done 36 rows each side with a 16, I think. The renegade rows as well, which are bloody hard. She, um, and she did 50 swings at the end, just as a little finisher with 32 kilos. And she, it, it, that, that didn't even register. She was just like, bosh, done. So in the end of that, that's a lot. That's a lot of work. Ben's on. Hello, Ben. That's a lot of work. So I said, hang on. In May, when you joined, you wouldn't have been able to do any of that, let alone 
be able to do it and then walk away after you've had zero sleep that night after you're not feeling your best you've got a bit of a cold all of that she was you know she's, she'd finished the session and said I, I, I feel that was rubbish that was rubbish I didn't do anything and it's like you've just done loads you've just done absolutely loads and you, that you wouldn't have been able to do in that first session that first week even in maybe even in the first two weeks she wouldn't have been able to do any of that she certainly wouldn't have been swinging a 32 kilo bell. I think she was struggling to press a 12 kilo above her head with her left arm. You know, this is this is what happens. That was in May. This is four months later. She's done it, walked off, feeling like feeling like she's done nothing, feeling like it's nothing. So she's now focusing on what's happening in the present based based on going forwards and saying, I don't feel like I've done very much, rather than looking at the present, what you've just done now, and then comparing that backwards and saying, here's what I've just done now compared to what I'd have been able to do even four months ago. And it's, it's amazing. It's outstanding. It's, it's progress. So this is what we need to focus on. And this is what I was talking to. This, is, this goes on about what I was talking about yesterday, about how you've got a goal. And if your goal is weight loss, it doesn't really, that's not really a goal. Because it doesn't mean anything, and if you don't get it, so what? And if you, you know, if you have a blip along the road, you just go, oh, fuck it, I'm going to go back to where I was. It doesn't matter, I'm comfortable, I'm happy. Until you see that next photograph or whatever of you on holiday, and you go, oh, I don't like that. And then you decide you want to do it again, because it will happen, it'll keep happening, it'll keep happening. And it's like I say, it'll keep happening until it becomes essential that you do get fitter and stronger, because it, it does for everybody. It becomes essential. It's not now. It may not be now. I'm, 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 I was going to talk about this today, but anyway, I'm, I'll, I might do it tomorrow. But it's not essential now. But at some point in the future, it will be. Okay? It is for everybody. Right? At some point in the future, it will be. Abbas is on as well. And Abbas is the one who's in the background of the video. The video that is in today's email, actually, where Claire's swinging 32. And Abbas is like, what about the guy in the background? He's doing all right as well, which he was. So, yeah, nice one. Um, yeah. So this is what I was, it goes with what I was talking about yesterday. If you're measuring forwards and looking at that goal of weight loss, say, which, like I said, isn't really a goal. Weight loss has a meaning behind it, which is what I went, on, I went on about yesterday. So if you want to know more about that, watch yesterday's email. Email. Watch yesterday's video. Um, if you're looking forwards to that, you get a lot of future-based thoughts, which are fear, anxiety, I can't do it, it's too hard, all of this sort of stuff. Whereas if you... Take what, where you are now, look at what you've just done and look backwards, you'll see how far you've come. And it's as simple as that. If you do that every day, you get better every day. Simple as that. Okay. Now, there's a link below. Click that. And there's a program in there. I haven't, I haven't really got anything, anything going on at the minute. I've got another two-week trial starting on the 9th of October. There's already a guy, Darren, who signed up for that. So he's ready to start that on the 9th of October. There's three guys starting the online program on Monday, the six-week online program. Um, I will be running another webinar. You heard that here first. I'm running another webinar on the 1st of November. So you heard that here first. There'll be more about that on all over here soon. Um, what else? What else am I doing? Yeah, so there's three. Oh, and BKSIC goes out this Sunday. My Inner Circle program goes out this Sunday. So... I've got nothing, nothing for you to attend at the moment, unless you want to get on one of these on on the online program or on my um, on my the next two week trial, which is on the like I say starts on the 9th of October. If you want to do that, the easiest way to do it is to click the link below, which will give you a free program anyway, so you can check you can test that out first. It'll give you a free program anyway. Have a look at that. It'll also put you on my email list where you'll hear more about the two-week trial and lots of other stuff as well. Everything else I'm doing because it's all... It's, it's not overwhelming me because I've learned in here how to deal with it all. So I get it all done. But there's lots going on. There's lots going on. So, there we go. Have a think of that. Click the link below and I'll talk to you tomorrow.